Well, it's been a lovely drizzly morning, but warm. You know, there's a little bit of a breeze, but uh, it's, I love those days. So I made sure to get out early and just see what needs um, some attention. There was only a few broad beans, really not much. I see a whole second set of flowers coming up on those, whoops, a few peas. And I've yet to go get the beans. There's lots of beans coming up. I love wild flowers because I have a problem with so few flowers that I grow. I'm working on that each year. I hope to get more. I need water. Um, I feel guilty cutting them. But wildflowers, I don't have the guilt. So I always grab some of those. Those are the lovely um, wild peas, which apparently, contrary to popular belief, are edible. Not that I want to eat them. I have enough of my own. Um, they came, a girlfriend gave me a plant, and in that plant were these. And they spread, not horribly invasive. You just pull them out. But uh, oh, what a cut and come again plant. They're fantastic. I love them. Typical Newfoundland, weather changes every five minutes. As quick as that, we went freezing here. <laughs> so, but I'm still gonna sit and chat. What am I at, chat? Ooh, that was weird. Um, I have no problem at all taking breaks from my garden. I think it's really important to do and just reflects on how great it's going you know there's lots of losses but what are the wins and uh, yeah just assess what's going on but always remember how wonderful our gardens are to us but you're also taking a break from all those little things that we never think about but they add up it's a lot you know I'm constantly uh, rinsing up pots for storage because it's time to store them back down in my crawl space again. Continuous processing, which is wonderful. It's a lot of work. The planning, the the, the, the tasks you write. Um, I'm not a task master. I, I don't believe in stressing uh, with lists or anything like that, but I certainly make note of a few things I want to accomplish each day. But I don't stress if I don't. Uh, what am I going to eat for dinner? You know, what can I harvest out there and then what can I make with that? I spend a lot of time thinking about food. Uh, yeah, just what pest damage occurred. How can I fix it? Weeding. Just all those little things that I don't show on camera. Um, but it's non-stop. So breaks are good. I'm, I have a smallish garden. Each year, I'm adding to it with Bruce's assistance, and it's a wonderful thing. I wouldn't go back or have it any other way, and I want more each year. But more and more means more and more work. So a moment reflection of how much money I'm saving. I do reflect on that a lot. It's very important for me. And um, so around that, you know, um, I, I literally, probably, <laughs> most meals will say to Bruce, this meal only cost me, you know, some olive oil or something. I reflect on what's the weather been doing? Um, we all know there's a lot going on with the weather. Why gardens again are so special, I think, at this time. So important for us but it's uh, it means for all of us we have to rethink I think some things some uh, planning for next year and I don't like the garden to feel like work um, so planning easy ways easier ways what's really working to so just put myself into that uh, great frame of mind Oh, good, it's doing well.
let's get back out there. Like right now, I have to go and pick more beans. We've been eating an awful lot of beans and lovely, lovely recipes. But uh, they're coming fast and furious, so I'm going to get back at that. I'll show you um, a little bit of my wanderings this morning. I tend to forget a bit about up here, but I see some... That white onion was one of those green onions, so I can pull that. It's looking very large. And I see some carrots that are popping out. There's two of them anyway. And that means they probably don't have enough depth here. So I may as well pull them because they're just pushing their way up now from the hard ground beneath. So they may be short and stubby, but let's pull them out. Oh yeah, that's neglected, isn't it? Let's get him out. Well, that's one very large green onion <laughs> or salad onion. Okay, let's get that carrot. I can step over here. And the weed in front of it. While I'm at it, let's. Oh my goodness, there's weeds. See, I don't get up here. Oh, where is he? Yes, he definitely hit the end and didn't know what to do. He's a good chunky little fella. So let's get the... Oh my goodness, it's all doing it. They didn't have enough depth at all here. Let's pull them. There's another one. Oh, that one looks perfect. Wow. Oh, look at that onion in there. Good stuff. Now I saw another one. Hang on. Oh, Ooh, that's nice. How about the one just about... Oops. No, I think we'll leave those in. I only need so many carrots at a time. These onions are looking great up here. Good. Wash these at the hose here. Hi, Bruce. Yeah, there we go. You can see how they must have, you know, hit that ground. They didn't have the depth. My other bed is 12 inches. I've measured the carrots. This is not. So they started to, I don't know, push up and out. Very cool. And this one just went all gnarly, weirdo-like. And I had to pick this. It's not a normal full-size head, but um, it will flower soon, and I want to eat it, not have it for flower. So my first globe artichoke. Speaking of popping out of the soil, in my browsing around this morning, I noticed that um, just at the end here of this potato bed, these ones were coming out of the soil. So Bruce and I are just going to give them a pull. Bruce, you can do the honors there. See what's there. They're going green, you know, from, I don't know if they're ready, but they don't have enough soil. Okay. Just pull them out now. Unlike me, Bruce is afraid to get his hands dirty. Well, it's this one, too. Yeah, it's the same plant. Oh, they'll be great for dinner. Tiny-ish. Oh, my goodness. But uh, beautiful. Look at the worms, too. Nice. Pile them there. Oh, that's nice. This is the leaf mulch mostly. You can see it, feel it, Abrus. Eh, yeah, there's sea was going green. Look at the worms in here. Yeah, I know. Wow, that's good, rich soil. Okay, Bruce is going to bring it over and I'm going to rinse them off and we'll see what we've got. Washed up. Obviously, these aren't for storage. 
there's one little bit of scab on that one. The rest are good. This is early. These are the russet Burbanks that we're not pulling uh, until, you know, they, they die back and, and harden, the skins harden over because we, they will be for storage and I will, of course, not wash those. But we need potatoes. This is great from one plant. I'm quite impressed. And here's the, the green one that was showing. And there was one of the small ones. It was, there it is. But that's okay. We'll cut that off. It's not going to kill me. I planted the seedlings that I started to uh, succession plant into where my garlic bed was. So there's just some rondonese and some cabbage and broccoli. And I've just spread them out because there's lots of room here. Some chard, uh, lettuce, and I see the slugs are already at it. Nasty we think. So that's a cucumber, I believe. And... Uh, what else have I got? Yeah, it's just mostly cabbage, early quick cabbage, lettuce, uh, that's pak choy, and then over here, same thing, just um, chard and cabbage, and more pak choy, so they've been in overnight, they actually look like they're already doing well, good! How's my celery doing? Oh, that celery is looking nice. So I can start cut and come again, you know, harvesting some of these. Actually, I'll take that one right now. So I'm sure I can use it. And the leaves are like getting a little old looking. Okay. Well, I'm rejuvenated from the break. Garden is wonderful. I'm going to get back out at it. I have, uh, as I said, I've been harvesting a lot of beans, making a lot of meals with beans. And uh, zucchini coming fast and furious now. And yeah, just the little odd jobs, but I'm energized again. A reminder of how wonderful our gardens are with the healthy food they give us. So take care. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.